Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of January 2018. I hope that you guys uh, spent these beautiful holidays surrounded by people and those that matter the most to you. Uh, remember this is how we're kick-starting off the year, so intentions is everything. Try the best you can to focus and visualize that which you're wanting to manifest into 2018, okay? Sending you guys out light and love as always. Let's see what spirit has for cancers. Let's see. Cancers. What are the messages for cancers for the month of January 2018? Doesn't it feel like weird? Is it me or does this happen to you guys where at the beginning of the year, it's almost like you want to say 2017. You're so used to it. But anyways, let's get into it. All right, this is going to be my last shuffle for Cancers. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of January 2018. All right. All right, your first card, you have the Empress card, Seven of Cups. The Hierophant, the Emperor card. Wow, Cancers, you guys have a lot of major arcanas. You have the Strength card. Oh, beautiful. All right, I will. <clears throat> okay, so you guys all know I don't do reversals. The messages that I get uh, do come through um, in every single reading I channel. Um, and for some reason, I never, like I said, I never do reversals. For some reason, uh, you have the hanged man, but it is in the reverse position. So it's still very positive, you guys. Okay, so for your general energies, beautiful card, cancers. Wow, okay. So for the general energy uh, for the month of January 2018, you guys have the wheel of the year, which is a representation of the wheel has turned. We are finally into the first month of a brand new year. Again, like I said, intentions are very, very important, my lovelies. So it's time to really visualize and truly uh, call forth manifestations, whatever it is that you're wanting and desiring. Also, the wheel of the year is a representation of striking luck. So for the month of January, you guys are going to be extremely lucky. Um, and I do want to mention you do have a lot of successful cards here. So if you guys are into anything that has to do with uh, tapping into your creativity, if you're an author, if you write, uh, if you paint, if you draw, whatever it is that you know in the arts department then i highly highly encourage you guys to really use this month of january to tap into those energies you guys are going to feel almost the creative flow like the juice is coming out so i highly encourage you guys to do that okay also like i said the wheel of the year is a representation of abundance um and striking luck so when it comes to uh, gamble or anything like that um now i'm not encouraging you know go out there and go crazy gambling but it is a symbology of you are again like i said you got good juju going on for you guys for the month of january so again please know um if you do happen to get this pull this you know inclination towards uh, something that has to do with asar, which in English represents anything to do with gambling. Um, and again, like I said, pay close attention to it. If you're not usually the type to gamble and, you know, you go to the store or something and a ticket um, or a lotto or something like that grabs your attention, that's definitely your intuition. So again, go for it, okay? Sky's the limit for you guys, actually for everyone as we're starting a new year. So anyways... Let's get into your reading. Well, you have the high emp uh, sorry, the Empress here, and the Empress is all about creative energy. Again, like I said, the wanting of manifestation and abundance. If you guys have been struggling for quite a while, 2018 is going to be very prosperous for you guys. You have the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is scarce energy. Um, not scarce energy, sorry, uh, scattered energy. But I do want to mention the Seven of Cups next to the Empress is definitely talking about anything that has to do with 
creative, anything that has to do with visualization, anything to do with, again, tapping into the creative, now is the time to do so. Uh, pay attention to that pull. Pay attention to your intuition as the Seven of Cups can also represent dreams and that of manifesting or fulfilling your dreams. So again, put very strong intentions towards that, okay? Now, next to the Seven of Cups, you have the Emperor and the Emperor's all, sorry, the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is all about to do with what is known to us as something normal, the normal, um, whether it's structure, whether it's marriage, whether it's unionship. If this is something that you're looking for, I definitely do have um, very, very positive cards for those of you guys that are cancers and have been single for quite a while. Uh, Taurus may be coming into your life. A Leo may be coming into your life. An Aries um, and an Earth sign. Earth sign would be a Capricorn, uh, Virgo, or Taurus. I feel that for most of you guys, it's we're talking about a Taurus or a Virgo. Um, but nonetheless, again, like I said, I definitely do see that fulfillment and that stability coming in. Now, you do have the Emperor. Again, like I said, out of the four cards, you guys have three major arcana. So major transformations happening. Um, obviously, we know the changes that are coming uh, or have been shifting. Uh, perhaps you guys are, are, you know, cancers are very intuitive. So perhaps you guys already started feeling the shift, started feeling the movement. Uh, the Emperor is all about structure. So the message here is very clear. For those of you guys that, again, like I said, are very inclined uh, to anything of the arts, uh, whether it's dancing, whether it's performing, whether it's performance art, uh, painting, drawing, uh, writing, whatever it is, now is the time to do so. And if you actually put a regimen behind it, an example, if you guys are more, you know, when you feel like you're capable of doing it, you go with it. Um, and then you stop and etc. The Emperor's here to tell you that it is very crucial at this present time to have structure in your life. So structure in the sense of anything that has to do with the creative outlet, uh, you have to structureize yourself and really to be able to attain those goals. The manifestations do come through for January. But again, like I said, very important to have clarity uh, clarity in regards to what you're wanting to bring forth okay now you do have the uh, strength card here so the strength card next to the empress is talking about again having that <clears throat> tapping into uh, your intuition really your con I feel that for a lot of you cancers if you guys have been dealing with insecurities whether it's on a conscious level or in a subconscious i feel that january is definitely going to be almost like the sun is going to rain on your face it's going to you know really illuminate um or people that come into your life are going to really remind you of the beautiful qualities and attributes that you possess it's almost like you're starting to self uh believe in yourself which is very key and very essential in any type of um manifestation and you have the six of wands the six of wands is feeling victorious perhaps you were struggling in regards to love and romance for some it could have been that uh you wanted the manifestation of actually having a long-term committed relationship with the seven of cups you guys are easily falling into people that are very deceptive or that uh promise you but don't really um fulfilled they don't really it's almost like they show you a, a certain type of image or person that they t uh, try to portray and it's very easy for you guys to fall into that and the hierophant is here saying if you want something serious if you want something um long term and something stable it is very necessary to be almost like the emperor um, which is that of structure, having structure, being grounded. It is very necessary not just to go by what people tell you they're going to do or what they're able to provide or give to you in a relationship, but are you really centered? Are you in love with the idea of love? And or um, do you have such conception of relationships so engraved in your mind that you assume or think you know exactly what it is that you want in a relationship yet you they're not grounded okay the the desire or what you think the perception of a relationship is is not grounded uh so there is a need for for you to come into that understanding okay um 
and this is something that resonates very true because I get asked a lot. Um, you know, my, I set out my intention to find a lifetime partner um, and it just hasn't happened. Here's the thing. When it comes to anything that has to do, whether it's success, whether it's starting your business, whether it's finding a lifetime partner, all of that you're capable of attracting to yourself. But if in that process you have like you're not being flexible, you're not like you're so stern in what you think you want that if a person uh, comes to you and shows you a certain uh, a certain attribute that you is something you don't want, you very quickly uh, disregard them. So again, this is asking you with the Hierophant and the Emperor, you have to go within yourself and really find what it is that is almost self-sabotaging you in regards to love and romance, okay? It could be for some of you guys, some type of possession. Perhaps you guys have uh, difficulty allowing things to grow organically. It's almost like you have to be in control or you're trying to force that relationship um, the starting relationship and sometimes you can throw off your partner sometimes you can be like a little too pushy or this is a general reading or it could be vice versa okay you're the one that allows to be pushed you're the one that um is not grounded they're very quickly to promise you and you believe them uh at face value and they come up short and then you're upset at them for wasting your time but you have to go in you have to go within yourself to really understand it okay if if it's one or two people perhaps it was them but if you continuously keep dealing with the same type of person uh, whether it's you know 10 different guys or 10 different women um it's still the same almost the same type of uh energy that you're attracting you have to ask yourself what is it in you that allows these type of energies to come into your life okay it's almost like a, a going within yourself to truly crystallize uh the the desire of what you're wanting to manifest in order for it to manifest okay so anyways i do see victory here there's the six of wands and the six of wands next to the sun a lot of you cancers going into 2018 a lot of you cancers are going to be um in a long-term committed relationship for those of you guys specifically for those who have been uh, single for a very long time I do see emotional fulfillment and a connection with someone and again feeling triumphant feeling like you've actually accomplished uh, finding the person that you were looking for or that you were wanting um, again like I said I do see here uh, Taurus I see Virgo I see Aries I see Leo um, some could be a Capricorn as well. I pretty much see all the elements. The only element I don't see is water. Um, but again, it doesn't necessarily have to mean uh, that that's their sun, moon, or rising. Uh, it could be the attributes and qualities of a person that is wanting something long-term and commitment uh, more than anything. So you do have the Hierophant here. And the Hierophant next to the Five of Wands, uh, it is in the reverse position. But I feel that uh, for some of you guys that ended a connection or communication with someone um, that was due to, again, almost feeling like you didn't know whether to move forward or whether to retract something you said. Perhaps you came off um, a little bit too strong because I do see an argument happening here uh, with the five of wands. But I feel that more than anything, this is an inner struggle, not Again, it is a general reading, so it could represent other people surrounding you, someone that you clash, you know, clash uh, or bump heads uh, very often in regards to work for some of you guys. Um, it could be a boss or it could be uh, uh, another co-worker that is very self-opinionative, someone very strong, uh, strong-minded, um, very, they flare up, their temper is very quick to flare up. Or this could be you, Cancer. And again, like I said, there is a necess uh, there is a necessity for you to go within yourself. You do have the hanged man, but it is in the reverse position. Um, and I am sensing it as a reverse. So again, I feel that if there was an inner struggle within yourself, Cancer, to whether it's in regards to love, whether it's in regards to uh, your career in the career sector, I feel that there is an inner struggle of feeling 
like you weren't worthy enough or like you haven't been able to succeed or move forward based on the fact that perhaps you're not working as hard. Uh, but I feel that this has more to do with self-confidence issues. Uh, but you do have the King of Pentacles here. And I feel that for some of you guys, this is going to be your energy uh, coming the end of January, where you're going to be very confident in yourself. It's almost like universe is going to bring to you the people that um, that you need that are going to encourage you, inspire you. For some of you guys, it could be that, um, again, like I said, allele or an Aries comes into your life that inspires and brings inspiration to you. Um, and again, like I said, I, the six of, of wands at the center is definitely talking about uh, you guys are going to kick off the year uh, very, very positive on a very positive note. I feel that uh, creativity is, is, is pretty much surrounding you guys. So I would definitely tap into that uh, to the best of your interest uh, with the wheel of the year here and the sun. Blessings are coming your way. Blessings perhaps that you were not even expecting. For some of you guys, it could be um, being granted uh, some type of finance um, if you guys are trying to get a loan, if you guys are trying to, um, <clears throat> anything that has to do with, uh, with banks, anything that has to do with financial institutions, I definitely do see, uh, pretty much the green light. They will be, um, accepting your application or they will be financing whatever it is that you're needing to get financed. Um, but more than anything, I feel that money wise is going to, uh, start to have the shift where if you were dealing with not having enough or almost having enough, but it kind of went strictly to your bills and your payments and all of that, I definitely see by the second week of January, you guys are going to start experiencing money flow coming into you guys. And again, I feel that this is going to come where you start believing a little bit more in yourself more than anything uh, with the sun card here next to the emperor. Again, like I said, um, it is very keen and very important for you guys to follow through in regards to having structure. So th the word structure keeps coming out. So to me, um, I encourage you guys, if you guys have, um, if you guys have some type of some type of desire that you're wanting to bring about okay whether it's a, a partner or whether it's um you know making a certain type of income my suggestion is write down on a piece of paper what it is that you want and then on the other side write down what you're willing to put in an example um wanting to make uh i don't know ten thousand dollars a month on the other side, what are you willing to give in order to get that? So, you know, I'm willing to put effort. I'm willing to give the best of my services, uh, the best that I'm capable of uh, in 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 receiving that. OK, so I hope that makes sense. And the same thing with partnerships. If you're wanting something long term, write down on a list what it is that you want from the partner and then on the other side you're going to write down exactly what it is that you're willing to give your partner i'm willing to be more compassionate i'm willing to be understanding etc cetera, etc cetera. this is going to impact you greatly because again i feel that the more you're able to really see things very cl like more clearly uh, writing it down it, it's going to remove the blockages that have been happening for you guys for quite a while and it's going to allow the energy to flow very naturally and organically okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading light and love to you guys always and i will see you guys at the middle of the month blessings bye